Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. This is episode 2 of Trading to Glory and some madness happened basically. Um, so I set up a new account to do this trading series with, uh, so I can show you guys the ways to do it. And I was going to transfer coins from my SBC account that I use on stream to this. I decided not to because I was like, if I, I risk that getting banned, it's got quite a lot of coins on there and I use it for stream. I don't really want to have to set another one up. So I thought what I'll what do is I'll put £5.99 worth of FIFA points on there to get me like 10k coins to start the the series off, basically. I thought, I thought it'd be better than risking my accounts getting banned and six quid's not the end of the world, realistically. And then I opened up a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack and I packed Scream Otamendi. The video for that will be at the end. I recorded it. I was recording myself doing it just in case I packed anything. I always do that. Um, and yeah, so I packed Scream Otamendi. And I wasn't going to keep the account. I was like, do you know what? I can't enough or sod it. Do you know what? It's a way of EA rewarding me for not breaking the rules, basically, and doing it. So I'm keeping the coins. Why not? We'll, keep, we'll, we'll use them to trade. We'll use them to build up. So you can see at least, I guess, in a more accelerated way, how you can make coins. And we're not going to be sitting there dragging it on for ages. Um, essentially, if I'd have opened that pack up with coins, I probably still would have packed the same player. It's not based on FIFA points or coins. It's just pot luck. So if I'd have opened that, that way, it wouldn't have made a difference. But yeah, so we packed screen some ND. That's my third screen. I think I packed two on my main account. But it's my main one. My first one on this account, obviously. Um, so I was happy with that. It means we can really get going on the, on the trading series. Um, I'll put the video for it at the end, like I say. But what I want to talk about today, I know it's squad, squad battle rewards, squad battle rewards, would have been dropped about eight hours ago now. So this is going out about eight o'clock on Monday. I'm filming it on a Sunday. Um, I want to talk to you about how to make the most of your coins for this week. So essentially, the market will rise and drop. There's loads of spikes throughout the week, depending on what happens. So when EA's release certain types of content, the market will, will crash or will rise depending on what you need. So when PK came out, we saw 84s and 85s and 86s went, went up massively. Delict ended up extinct. I think Parejo got extinct for a while um, because they were in demand. People wanted that PK card. Um, once Squad Battle Rewards comes out, the market, market at that moment is usually relatively at its lowest point. So what happens is, from a Monday, the market climbs slowly but surely until about Thursday, Friday when everyone's buying their weekend league team. So people looking to buy these players, there's less of them on the market, so there's higher demand, so the prices go up. So essentially, the best time to buy your players, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, is when I tend to buy to invest. That's what I tend to do. So right now, it's the time to buy players if you're looking to invest. Now, I can't tell you which players to buy because I don't know what the market's looking like. Obviously, I'm recording this on a Sunday. But go onto Footbin and have a look at the graph. So I want to show you something to illustrate this, basically. So if you can see here, we've got Eden Hazard we'll start with, okay? And this is what I'm talking about. So if you look at Friday, the market's at its peak, okay? 482k on Xbox, 531. It then drops off over the weekend league. And then we get to, we get to Monday and he's at 500k on PS. So that, what's that drop? That drop is 30k off, right? And he's on 461. So as, as it goes down, the market starts to crash down. And then slowly as the week goes on, he goes back up in price before he hits a peak again on weekend league. And again, this time it crashes. I think this is sort of ultimate screen time, so he keeps going down. But then again, look here. There's a rise of 10k. Now, not all the players do that. Not every player will do that. But you've got to look at the ones that you think sort of monitor the market. Look at them. Go on to Footbin. Look at meta players. Players that people want in their teams. And look at, the, look at their price crashes in recent weeks and try and predict the market if you can. If it's your first time doing it, don't put too many coins into it. But if it's your, if your second, third, fourth time, start being a bit more... You can start being a bit more frisky, we'll call it, but you can start putting a bit more money into it. Again, you see here, Friday it reaches peak, it drops off again. Again, Rafael Varane, a, met, a meta player. I knew this would be a Friday, just go to the point, I know it's a Friday. Friday's at 294, and then as the week goes on, he drops off, and he reaches, he reaches his, his like, weakest moment there on the Wednesday, before he rises a lot again by Thursday and Friday. Drops off again to Monday, back up again by the Friday, drops off again. Sadio Mane, we'll do the same thing for him. I don't know what the hell that is, but... Start, we'll start like here. It's relatively re recent to where we're at now. 429 he's out there. Then he drops off, drops off, drops off, drops off to Wednesday. And then he rises again for the Friday. Now, from Wednesday to Friday, he's gained 15k. Now, if you buy him, chances are you're not going to make much of your money back. But that's an average price. Some people list him a lot lower than that. I know I picked up a De Bruyne for like 80k below his buy it now price because people just rushed him to sell him. And late, as much as you get lazy buyers, you also get lazy sellers. So again, the market will drop off. And then it will climb again. And you see by Friday, it climbed massively. So it dropped off to 390, even less than that, 379 last Sunday, right? And then by this Friday at 419, that's what, 40k difference? So if you, if you can pick them up in and around that and sell them on for just slightly more than that, maybe to a lazy buyer, you can make 10, 20k if you're lucky. And, and, and this is the point I try and make. If you, if you think about all of your investments and if you think about all of your 
the way you're doing it, you'll, you'll make far more money. The way you you need to plan out all your investments and how you spend it. Investing is, is massive in this in this FIFA. I want to say something about investments though. Team of the Week investments used to be massive. You used to be able to buy the gold card of the of the of the player that's going to get Team of the Week, we reckon. And chances are he'd rise quite quite significantly during Team of the Week. However, the problem with this year and Team of the Week is number one, EA have been really weird with it. So last week Mbappe got a Team of the Week. He probably shouldn't have got. Icardi probably should have got that. So. People invested in a card, you think, yeah, he's definitely going to get one, and he didn't get one, his price crashed, they lost coins, a lot of coins. And so for, for that, I, I, I would stick away from investing in Team of the Week. What I would do is, when, if you're free when a Team of the Week is announced, so for example, let's say Mbappe, Benyeda, whoever it is is in the Team of the Week, if you're, if you're online at that point, buy a few of them, because they will go up in price, the ones that get the SBC, because they're not in packs. The one that get the uh, Team of the Week, sorry, because they're not in packs. So I, I would massively advise you, if you're, if you're around that point to do it, but Team of the Week investing this year just isn't as strong as it was. Next thing to think about with uh, Squad Battle Awards and with other awards and SBTs and things like that this week is look for when the EA release election player packs, packs that contain silvers and bronzes, because that will be the best time to buy League SBC players. So this week, if there's any SBCs, if there's anything like they drop a, um, a flashback, anything like that, and the player, the reward, if there's a pack reward, is an election player pack, a prime mix player pack, anything that isn't just gold players... That will see got silver players and bronze players crash. So make sure at that point, if you've got the coins, you go and invest. So we saw, you saw my last video. If you haven't seen it yet, go and watch it. On my last video, I was telling you about Dusseldorf, for example, where all of their pretty much all their defenders except for one are silver and bronze. They go for 7k. They all, it always bounces back. It may not always bounce back to the exact amount, but if they drop to 4k, 4.5k, buy 20 of them. And if you can send for 2k more, you just made yourself 40k. And again, it's about being smarter with your time. If you can't do eight, nine hours, that's the whole point of this series. If you cannot do eight or nine hours of trading and sitting there grinding it out, be smart with your time. Plan it out. Get a diary if you have to. Put it in your phone and just make sure that you're checking the content, checking what the market's doing. It doesn't take long to do. If you're on your lunch break at work, if you're on your lunch break at school, check the markets. Have a little look and just see what the players are doing. Are they going up? Are they going down? The player you've had your eye on that you want to buy, for example, is it now the right time to buy him? Or is this, play, is this price going down? Is it steadily going down the graph? I've just shown you what the market tends to do. It's not guaranteed, but it's pretty consistent. It goes down, it goes back up again by Friday. It goes down after that, it goes back up again by Friday. So then you know what time it is to buy a place for your team. Know when the time to buy a place for your investments. But moving on. Um, obviously, so in this account, we now have 194,000 coins, you can see. I sold Osamendi for 220, I think. Um, and what I've gone and done is the first of the advanced SBCs for this video. These are usually always guaranteed profits. So... With the other players I packed in the, in the packs that I started off with or whatnot, I think I've spent about 20, 25k on this. So I've done the hybrid nations to start. Um, I think this squad here cost me 3k, so we'll turn it, we'll turn them all in as we go. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's the squad there. It's pretty easy to be fair. I won't sit here and go over all the players' example, but that's that basically. Well, that's pretty much speaks for itself. Um, the we'll claim this reward. We'll go back. We'll open up these five packs. Six of the best. This was 4K-ish to do, I think. The most expensive players were him. I could sit there and bid on them, but again, I haven't got time. So the most expensive players were those sort of guys. The ones down the bottom, I had, I had him in my club. I had him in my club um, from the beginning, but so it weren't too bad. Um, but I haven't got time. People sit there and go bid on them. And sometimes I have, I'm free and I will. Other times I haven't, got, I haven't got time to do it, so I'll just buy them. But again, as long as we make 25K back, I'm pretty happy. We should be fine. Um, the Elite Eight. I think this was like 8k, if that, 7k maybe. I think it was 7k again. No one was really that expensive. 700 coins for him. 700 for him. 550 for him. Jensen was 600. So I don't think there was anything more than sort of 7k-ish. Um, so yeah, it's not bad again. That, that's, and this is what I say to people. If you don't do these SPCs, you're an idiot. Because they, they make you... They're almost guaranteed profit. I, I, I say guaranteed profit. I've never not made profit out of them. But um, yeah. This, this LRMND, I packed in the two per rare players pack from that season objective. It gave me the two, like one rare, one not. I got him, so I used him. The rest of them, again, were quite cheap. No one here was too expensive. 800 coins for him. That kick was 650. William Jose was 850. I think this one cost me about 9k, maybe. So we, we trade them all in. We get a rare players pack. We get a prime gold players pack, I think. And for the whole, whole thing, we get a rare mega pack. So all you're doing is looking to make profit back as much as you can from every SBC. The next video, I'll probably do it on stream, so you'll probably have to watch it as I'm doing it live on stream. But we'll be building the um, marquee matchups we've still got to do, and the last of the Scream SBCs. Um, the Scream SBCs, the, one of them is really good value for money, the Mega Pack. I might do that now, actually. But the rest of them aren't that amazing value for money, I, I don't think, personally. I think they're okay, nothing special. Uh, but we'll start off with we'll start off with the Electron Pairs back first. 
And it's where you hope to make some money, money back and whatnot, and then I'll use that to invest in other players. Wait, that is something. It's a board, at least. From an extra player pack, I'm, I can't argue with that, to be fair. I cannot argue. My TV, for some reason, is making noise. I don't know where the controller is to turn the music off. So you'll be hearing that in the background, unfortunately. But I'm sure you'll live. Luis Alberto is the guy that we're going for here. It's alright, it's an 84, I can't complain. Everyone will get sold, though. I won't hold a 21. Unless I know they're for the Hybrid Nations um, one that I like to do. There's a Hybrid... 3,600, I'll take that. There's a Hybrid Nations one that I like to do. Um, no, it's League and Hybrid Nations. And I know the players for it off by heart. How it is. There you go. 6,000 coins. 5,400 for him. So we've already made nearly 10k back. We're going to list him for like 5,002. For me, I, I like to flip quickly. If I want to hold on to them, I can hold on to them. But I'm, I'm just, I'd rather flip it quicker. Uh, make the coins back so I can then use those to reinvest. Coins are key at the end of the day. Uh, Sergio Guardiola. He sells for like 500. This guy sells for like 500. We're listening for like five. We're listening for 600. See if we can get that from him. If we don't, I'll release it. But Schmid probably sells for something. Yep, yeah, because he's German League and he's French. So League SPC, they'll use him for. And people also use him for um, SPCs, other SPCs. Because he's got a, a different nation link, so that's good. We can sell him for a bit. That's a very good election pack, to be fair. I think we've made 15k maybe from that in total. Um, these guys will hold on to for now. There's no reason for me to sell these. Some of those were going to League SPC, but they got already at 200k from what was just sold there. So we're, we're looking to get back to 220k, essentially. If we can get back to 220k, I will be happy. Gold players pack won't be anything. Let's see if we get anything decent from it. CDM, good hours. I don't think he sells them anything at all, to be fair. But again, in, in, this, in this pack here, even if you sell all of them, all the rares, or the rare, as a minimum for what we're going to sell them for, because I don't think it's going to be much more than discard price. It shouldn't be anyway, be stunned if he is. Yeah, so it's discard price, we can just discard him. Um, even if you sell these for an average of 500 each, you're getting five grand back. Lalana always sells, so we will list him for like that, and that should sell. Kike Garcia. So a lot of these guys will just be random random sort of cards that you're never going to use, you're never going to see. But it's just it's just about making back as much of your coins as you can from these. And then anything else from the main packs is profit. So Lainer will probably sell because he's German Bundesliga again. Maybe a good thousand. We'll list him for a thousand and see if we get that for him. Again, anyone doesn't sell, I can list again. It's not like I haven't got any time at all. But this guy's Chinese League. We'll list him for like that and see if he sells. I'm pretty sure he will. Orzolini. So Italian cams sometimes sell really well. And I think it's because certain SPCs have cams and people get lazy. And rather than buying a centre mid, which you could probably buy quite cheaply. You see this guy here again. He should sell for close to that. Stefan. People get lazy. You can just buy a cam and it pretty much does the same thing. Why is Wolfsburg so expensive? I noticed this the other day. I feel like Wolfsburg's SPC is really expensive for what, what it is. This guy looks way too happy. Look at him. <laughs> He's buzzing. Absolutely buzzing for that picture. So, Murillo, probably won't suffer much, we'll just listen for 500. There are, this guy does sell usually. We'll list him for that. If it doesn't, if it doesn't sell, I can relist them. Uh, okay, I know because he doesn't sell because I used, I used the money one in SPC, so it's fine. That can go. Right, we've got three packs left then. We'll get 206,000, see? And the three best packs to come now. So, Prime Gold Players Pack. Please be something, EA. This count feels like it's going to be one of those rigged accounts, to be fair. I think that's something. It is something. It's a walkout. Be good, be good, be good. German. Goalkeeper. Is that the way out? To stay good. To stay good. Like, again. There you go, lads. There's your profit. There's a the profit straight away. Do these SPCs. I always say, if, if, if the SPC is profitable, if there's anything less than 5, 6k, do it. There's no reason not to do it. SPCs will make you money. Just don't go and, and, and just use... I don't know, 84. Use footbin. Make sure you're making the most of it. Make sure you're making the most coins you possibly can. Use footbin. Don't use the same solutions as everybody else. I'll leave, I'll leave him on the, on the trade path for now. We'll just see what he sells for afterwards. Tadic. We will just list them as it is for this for this for now. It's easy that way. So we having to check what they will go for and spend the time in the video. But that's profit straight away. There's my profit. I'm happy. I can't argue. I just use Valencia in the SPC. Uh, we'll just put all those up to trade path for now. And then I'll sell them afterwards. Once we sell them, we've got... We'll be well into profit. I mean, we're at 212 already. Right, so rare player pack. Be nice if this is a walkout. I highly doubt it. But all the screen, all screen players are in packs at the moment. So 
I think this is a board or a walkout, which is good. It's a board. Prime got player pack paid out. This one didn't. PP right mid. Quadrado. He sells. That's good again. There you go, lads, again. Profit. Profit, profit, profit. We'll, we'll hopefully be 300k plus at this point. Set Maximin in there as well. I don't think he sells like he used to. Quadrado is not for too much, to be fair, but we'll put all these up to the trade pile and I'll sort them out off. Not, not once the video's done. And the final pack for this, the rare mega pack. Let's go. Fingers crossed. Come on, EA. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. It is a board or a walkout. No, it's not. <laughs> Read that wrong. It's annoying. So the worst pack of the last three was the one that got me the best thing out of it. I mean, that's a horrendous pack, to be fair. That's not a good pack at all. Um, but again, might be a draft token here. Although I'm not really using draft. I can do draft token if I can use it if we get it. It's annoying as well because that pack was full of players, but just not very many good ones. But we'll list all that, and the next video you'll see how many how many coins are on. I will be doing some trading between now and the next video, so you'll be able to see that. Um, we've got one gold pack as well. We might as well open that. Um, the Everton kit. We'll put, put that down there. List us all up there. We'll work out what sells once I've done it. Player contracts. I'm probably going to list these to 200 now, just because they do sell. My voice is really croaky today, I've noticed. So excuse me for that. Um, so, th that's essentially one of the starting ways that I like to, when you start for an account and whatnot, about them to use them, it's a way you can make profit straight away. The other thing that I did want to talk to you guys about was now the ultimate screen is ending, the market is going to be very, very volatile. And you, we might, we're either going to see it rise, which it has done in recent, in recent years, it, will, it, it climbs, or we're going to see quite a big crash. Oh, it's a blue card in that, to be fair. Um, or it's going to crash. Now, I think what will happen now is we'll see it, the, the market steadily... Well, let's just send all this to the club for now. It's easier. Um, we'll, I, I think we'll see the market steadily rise a little bit. It won't, it won't climb too fast, but I think we'll see it steadily climb, steadily rise, if not stay the same. And then Black Friday is pretty much the next one coming along. That's not so far away now. We've got a couple of weeks of that. That's when the market will crash. So if you have investments or you're holding on to investments, 100% get them sold before the crash. Because the, the crash will happen... And you, you need to be on top of that. The other thing I've noticed as well, screen players are going up in price. Not all of them, but some of the more meta ones have gone up. So I've noticed the most expensive ones, as they've been more, more packed, more than packed and coming out and packed, they've sort of gone down maybe 100, 200k. But some of the more meta ones, like Ottomendi at one point dropped to 190. I sold mine for 220 today. Monitor that. If you've got screen players you're holding on to, get rid of them, in my opinion. Right now is the time to sell because you don't know what the market's going to do. Don't get greedy with profit. Take your profit. Be happy with it. If you haven't got any screen players, now could be the time to invest in those mid-tier ones that aren't too expensive, Romagnoli, those sort of players. Get involved in them because I think they're a very, 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 very good shout. But lads, that's going to be the end of the video for today. Whatever you do, monitor the market today. It's Monday. Squad Battle Rewards are out. See what's happened. And if there's anything to be had, buy it, invest it, hold it to Weekend League. If it's meta, people will buy it. Check out the first video if you missed the first video. Get involved. Down below, we'll have my Twitch. Come and follow us. On t come and follow me on Twitch and watch me stream. I do the stuff on stream with people. We have a good laugh there, like I say. If you're new around here, please do drop me a subscription. Um, I'll leave you with a pack we packed, the Yasmin D. Um, other than that, have a good one. I'm out. Peace. I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. <laughs> For God's sake, man. I mean, <laughs> on my other account, I've had nothing. I knew that would happen. Bloody hell. <sighs>